So we saw large scale protests as the days progressed. I remember uh, India Gate, you guys must have seen the visuals of that when people tried to protest and break barricades as well. I was there. While I was reporting, tear gas shells were being burst near me. There were water cannons that were, that were being sprayed. In fact, we also were affected by that. It, is very it, was, it became very difficult because uh, tear gas shells had exploded to try and control the crowd. And it really disables you for a, for a good uh, uh, 15 to 20 minutes because you can't see, uh, you can't breathe too well. So even as you're reporting under extreme crisis situations in conflict zones as well, you need to also constantly be communicating with your office, which is telling you things like this, that look, you have a live at 10 o'clock you have a live at 11 o'clock you need to whatever you're doing you need to stop that and then again immediately connect with office uh, to give a live update on what is happening for instance, if, the, if uh, in front of me, the police was beating down on one of the lady protesters. So we had caught that on camera, but sadly it wasn't on live. So what we had to do simultaneously is take the tape out, run to our outdoor broadcast van, send it across so that they could beam it live to our office. You have immense power when you're holding a mic like this. You have the power to communicate with millions of people at one go. And that's what really gives you a thrill, certainly a thrill, but it also, the thrill also increases because you know that you have a responsibility. Whenever there is a breaking news situation, there's so much happening around you that you enjoy yourself uh, uh, doing what you're doing, no matter what the story is, it may be tragic, and many times you're tracking tragic stories. You're being not in the police, being not in, the, uh, in, in politics or in government, you still have the power to help people. Brush up on your general knowledge. Try and develop your public relations skills. You know, always, uh, uh, whoever you meet, try and make an impact so when you leave, that person remembers you in whatever you, way you can. It doesn't matter if it's a driver, if it's a security guard, or even the principal of your school. Your regular day for, uh, starts, say, around 10, ends at around 7. But uh, it usually never happens for reporters. It, it's, a, it's a longer day, but that's where the thrill also is. Through the day, what you're also doing is, even as you report, you finish one particular report, you also call up your source in the police, you call up your source in the hospital, you call up uh, various parties or various groups which are protesting to try and figure out what they're doing. Source ka phone